Oh, it, I mean, for a space physicist, it's really exciting. You've got a lot of leery eyed solar physicists this morning from staying up watching the spacecraft data and then remembering to look up at the sky as well. Um, yeah, it, this is this is what we live for, right? So these are really big eruptions from the sun of, of material. So this is stuff. Um, and it, it's really moving. You know, we're talking a million miles an hour, uh, but it's a long way from the sun. So it, they take two or three days to get here. So we actually put a, a forecast uh, two and a half days before they arrived. We were pretty confident that this that was going to be some space. It's, it's quite difficult to, to really know. Um, I, we haven't heard of any major outages from this event, um, but I'm hearing a few anecdotal reports from localized power issues, particularly in Scandinavia. Um, we'll find out more as time goes on. Um, but it, it's very difficult to assess just how vulnerable you are because it, it, there's a whole whole range of factors that conflate together, you know, demand on the grid, what time of day these things hit, uh, things like that. I think that's right. And even, you know, to take an example of Starlink, they, they lost was it 48 satellites two years ago. Um, but that was because, and that was a very small CME, but it happened during launch. And so they, they now do their launch in a different way. So they're not quite as vulnerable to, to these effects. Actually, I mean, these individual CMEs were not actually that big by um, you know, historical standards, but there were just a lot of them and they all piled together in space. I mean, space was a mess yesterday. Um, and, and it's that piling together and that just that continual uh, pumping out more and more events that, that has caused this to reach super storm level. Um, so this is quite different to previous storms in a way. Um, so, so there's going to be a lot for solar physicists to unpick over the next few months, I think. That's right. I mean, like the sunspot that's been throwing these CMEs out is, is huge. It's about 15, 15 Earths across. So if you've got your, your eclipse goggles and you've still got some clear skies, um, you can see this with the naked eye quite easily. <laughs> 